This video will demonstrate how to queue an experiment using Icon NMR. To access the web interface of Icon NMR, you'll need to visit the website that's been provided by your instructor. We recommend that you bookmark this website because you'll be using it a lot. When you visit the URL, you can enter your Gustavus ID and password. And you'll need to select your holder number that you've been given in lab and check the box and click Add. Next, you'll need to choose a title for your spectrum. This title will be displayed on the spectrum itself once processing is complete. Here, we see the directory and experiment number under which your experiment will be saved. You don't need to change these. Under Experiment, select the type of experiment that you'll be running. I'd like to start with a proton experiment, which is already selected. Under Name, you can change the name that your experiment will be saved under in the computer. I'm going to change my name to Cumin Proton. And then lastly, you need to select the solvent that you'll be using. In this case, chloroform is already selected, so I just need to click Add Experiment. Usually, you'll be running more than one experiment on your sample. I'd like to also do a C13, so for my next experiment, I'm just going to change this title to C13, and under Experiment, change to a C13. You'll notice that the experiment number automatically changed. The name of my experiment is going to be C13, and the solvent should stay the same. And again, I'll click Add Experiment. Finally, I'd like to add a depth, so I'm going to do the exact same process changing everything accordingly to depth. When you've added all of your experiments, click Close Window. The last thing you'll need to do is make sure you actually submit the experiments. Right now, they, you can see that under the status, they still say that they're available, which means that your experiments won't actually run. So you again need to click on your holder number and select Submit, and you'll see that all of these will change to queued instead of available. And that's when you know that your experiments will be run, and when they're finished, you'll receive an email from Felix that will have your FIDs.